So occasionally Windows 10 will not boot up after receiving Windows updates. It'll get stuck into a boot loop or you may not be able to log in. Um, in this demo I'm going to show you how to remove a Windows update from the recovery environment that's built into Windows 10. Since my computer isn't experiencing a boot loop, I'm going to get to the recovery environment by restarting while holding the shift key. When you are experiencing a boot loop, um, if the startup is interrupted three times in a row, um, you will get to a blue screen that will allow you to try again or go to advanced options. You would want to go to advanced options. We're going to choose troubleshoot and then these advanced options and we're going to go to the command prompt. Now if your system is getting to the point where it is getting past the dot spinning oftentimes you will not be able not get the uh, startup screen so what you want to do is actually hold your power um, button on your computer while the dice are still spinning to consider it an interrupted startup after doing this three times you should get to the advanced options um, so from the command prompt we're going to use this nice tool built into Windows called DISM Disk Image Service Manager the command is going to be DISM slash image and our primary drive is C and we want to see the packages so it's going to be slash get packages. This is going to return a list of updates that are installed on the system. Um, generally it will be the last package in this list. Um, so to remove an image package we're going to do dism slash image colon c prompt and then we're going to remove package ah. and then we're going to tell it the package name and we want to go with this one to copy it you can double click it to highlight it control C and then right click to paste it so now we have the package that we want it to remove um, the state would uh, not say installed, it would say something else generally if it's what's actually stopping Windows from booting up because it may not finish being installed or it may have installed and, um, and say installed but still be stopping Windows from starting up. So to remove this, this is the command, I'm going to press enter, it's going to go through the process of removing it and this process can take a while. see the message there regarding use the slash scratch dir option to set up a scratch directory. Um, you may need to do this if your computer does not have a lot of memory. And you could basically just do that command with the um, and give it the c colon backslash temp and it will use that as a scratch space for any operations it needs to do while removing the package. So the package has been removed. Now we can just click the X here and we're going to exit and continue back to Windows. If everything went successfully, we will uh, be greeted with our login screen and be able to log in.